we're off across the Irish Sea this week to the land of my forefathers and, of course, Willie's, the Emerald Isle. Kirsty's bringing the truck on the ferry to meet us in the very south of the Republic of Ireland, the lovely city of Cork. Here she comes. Ooh. Hello. Oh, she's still got all the load. Oh, my God. Where, now, where can she park? It looks a little congested here, Deirdre. There is a spot up there on the left, so if you go down and swing around and then pull in here and Come back up. OK. See you in a minute. All right, Bye. Oh, shall we get back inside? It's a no. bit safer. Now, this is Deirdre. Hello. <laughs> and we're surprising Shane, yes. your boyfriend. Yeah. this way. Oh, this is very nice. I like it. Very um, chic and modern, isn't it? Well, <laughs> have you spent all your time doing this? Yeah, we have. We spent the past four years doing it. It was completely derelict when we bought it. We could just sit in here and not do the garden. <laughs> oh. Well, it's long. Oh, God, it is really. And I suspect it's going to be very hard. Ah, there she is. Then. Yes. <laughs> you found your way. Yes. Would yeah. you like to see this yes. now? <laughs> yeah. So we've got your your deck, which we yeah. stood on there. Go down a few steps, don't know how many, to another deck. So you've got a much bigger deck area, and then step down onto, onto another onto one. Oh, it looks gorgeous. That's just to get us from here down to there comfortably without having to go down a long set of stairs. And then these are screens here because the garden is really long and narrow, so we want to make this one separate room, but still leave you that lawn area further up the garden. Well, let me just explain what she means. Okay. We're going to do this bit here, and then you can do the rest. <laughs> Shane can do the rest. <laughs> and as for the planting, I mean, sort of triangles and diagonals, but we've got things like bamboos that are quite structural. And then all these are going to be multi-stem birches through shale, so the white stems will show up against the, the blue-grey shale. Um, and some agapanthus to give you a bit of colour. So again, the, the flowering plants are going to be sort of architectural. And this thing here, I tried drawing it's it. It's interesting. It, it is really interesting. <laughs> it's a water feature. But when you see it, you'll see how difficult it was to draw. OK. I had a suspicion, you know, I knew we, this was going to be quite a large timber construction. You did help come up with the design, mate. <laughs> I know, you I know. You said it'd be really good if we put two more decks. Well, to get us down, and I knew it was going to be quite complex, so... Um, I've asked a friend of mine to come over and give us a hand. Tricky Dicky, we call him. <laughs> oh, he's I Richard see. Boy. Yeah, trouble. he's a shop fitting joint. He's a good carpenter, and he's flying over from London as we speak. Now, where's Shane gone? A bit he's gone down to my mother's house to paint. <laughs> Why was there that little grimace when you went? <laughs> well, he doesn't really like painting. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so he's down there with his friend John, who's who knows everything that's going on. Okay. Oh, he'll be in a good mood when he comes home. He wasn't happy when he was leaving me. He's like. <laughs> I can't believe I have to go down here and do this. <laughs> Is he suspicious? No, not at all. So where did our researcher catch up with? Down in our local pub, talking about rugby. <laughs> our researcher pretended to be doing a report on the popularity of rugby in Ireland and asked Sean what's the attraction apart from the funny-shaped balls. Can I ask you what the appeal is of watching rugby? Grown men in shorts. <laughs> Don't say that on the television, please. <laughs> Deirdre has dragged me along to it, I'm afraid. Deirdre is the real rugby fan. So I just, I'm just a passenger, to be honest. Yeah. And what, what's her feeling from your point of view, Deirdre? I've always watched it. My uh, cousin's always played, so I've been watching it from a very young age. We watch a lot of rugby, we don't play. Now I realise why I'm going to matches. It's just because of her chase, chasing men. That's <laughs> He's a rugby fan. Yeah, we're both huge rugby fans. Monster. Oh, never Vince guess. T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have they won anything? <laughs> yes. oh, I know they haven't, you see. <laughs> yes, they, they won the Celtic League and they're... The Celtic well, League? Well. Oh, that, oh, that's the big one, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> they're going to win the Heineken Cup this year. <laughs> they're going to win the Heineken Cup this year. Surely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <Right>. Definitely. <clears throat> I'll go and make a cup of tea because I won't wait for it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. Yeah. I found someone on the street, like a stray. Mr. Foy is here. Also, we have some extra help. Over here, we have Shane's friend, Rory, who's volunteered. He doesn't know what he's let himself in for. 
he will by the end of the day. And over here, we have Una, which is Deirdre's friend. Yep. And she's volunteered. She's got a bad back, so she's yes. only going to make the tea. <laughs> Uh, I'm working and then Una's going to come over and we're going to go to the gym at lunchtime. Oh, very good. Do you want a bacon sarnie? Thank you. Look at that. Yeah. All right. Mmm. Brown bread. <coughs> An old cockney sound for dead. I hope I'm not when I finish this sandwich. Okay, you call me so about three, I'll call you about three o'clock. Lovely. Okay, bye. Right. Happy painting. He didn't swear once. Excellent. <laughs> Was that a worry? <laughs> a huge worry. <laughs> so is everything OK? Well, he said he's going to... I asked him how quickly they were going to finish. He said, well, we, we, know we might be finished tonight, but they're <gasps> no! going to stay down there anyway. Oh, OK. But John knows all about it, so he'll delay him for as long as we need. That's good. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Good, who are you? <laughs> a random stranger. A random stranger? <laughs> well, hello, nice random stranger. Peter's my name, Peter, hi. Nice to meet you. So, are you come to help? I'm uh, being, being, lo being dragged in to help. Right, well, uh, you're not helping all those squabbly little boys right. there. You're helping us girls who are very quiet, easygoing, and girls. straightforward. I got the girls, no bother. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. And where are the girls? I think the girls have left the building. I think they've gone to ice for their cocktails. <laughs> really? Yes, I think they're I think sort so. of pre-empting. I think they're pre-empting the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's like quarter past twelve. Yeah. I think I joined the women's team under <laughs> false pretenses. You'll be pleased if they come back with cocktails, though. Or are you a Guinness man? I'll drink whatever's put in front of me, Charlie. <laughs> Good man. You're definitely in the girls' team. <laughs> Classy bloke. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, that's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go on, I got this in. Well, if we just temporarily move it over. If you wanted that for me and moved, I would have moved it for you, Tommy. Oh, there we go. That's it. With the old stairs out of the way, we can position the framework for the first of the two new decks. <laughs> How many turns are we doing? Sorry. Oh, no, they, should, they should go on those, those legs. That's it. On the inside? Oh, we'll just put this clamp Yeah, OK, that's fine there. We get it level by clamping temporary yeah. legs in place, and then we can prepare the pose that will eventually we'll take the weight. There's a twig there, but I don't think That's lovely. That looks very big. Mm. We've got some help with the painting. Martine is Shane's mother, and she's been helping us keep the secret from Shane. And hopefully, I'd still be accepted as a mum after all this. I'm working in the other corner is Deirdre's mum, who's very quietly painting the wall over there. I'm doing a great job here being gaffer. Excellent delegation. <laughs> anyway. Now, these four inch concrete blocks serve two purposes. One is when we actually put the post on them, it keeps them from having contact with the soil, so it prolongs the life. And two, they act as a, a spreader, like a foundation for it. Perfect. It's a bit like Scotland Island, you know. <laughs> Is it? Mm. They Unpredictable. All, they all talk funny and you get seven seasons of weather in about half an hour. <laughs> this 4 before post, we've mortised on two sides so that when we put it in position right into the corner, it actually sits. You have to give us a hand here, Rich. Lift this up a fraction, just so I can slide it in. Okay. That's it, that's perfect. Right? So it supports this beam, and it supports this beam that comes through to the end. They both sit on the shoulder. Now we just pop in all the rafters, 15 inches or 400 mil apart, to support the actual decking boards. Oh, 
So Shane watches the program all the time. Oh my god! Like at night time, you know, it's on. Uh, it's repeated. Yeah. He goes, I say, what time is it? He's like, it's ten to ground for us. <laughs> ten to ground for us. <laughs> so would he be impressed with what we've done? Oh god, yeah. Well. He's always, well, he's always commenting that if they only worked a little bit harder on day one, they wouldn't be in such a bad condition. <laughs> so what's he doing now? What's Shane doing? Uh, he's, uh, he's, well, he texted me and said, oh, I'm walking the dog on the beach. But then he texted Rory and said, I'm in the lobster pot and having ah. a pint. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, been he's caught been out. Yeah. <laughs> right, are you ready, girls? Yes. Okay. Rory, give us a hand. You get on that corner. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. We go up first. Why are all the men that way? We are here. Right. Up. up onto that baton. Yes. That's yeah. it. Down onto the baton. Come Long. to me. Yeah, that's fairly good because we want to get a flower bed in that end. It's five past four. We're making pretty good progress. I reckon that in about another 45 minutes, Rich, we'll be phone, ready. Phone, phone. Hey, what are you up to? You are not, are you? Is he? <laughs> what time am I coming down where? I'm not going to school. I don't know. I, don't, I told Una that I go out with her tonight. I don't think she can. Look, let me call Una and ask her. <laughs> Bye. I'll think of a You don't line actually on that. need to phone Una because she's You're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that'll do for tonight. Yeah, you all done for tonight? Yeah. yeah. Right then, night out with the girls. Here we are. See you in a minute. Cool. And who's the first round on? I think it has to be me. <laughs> Witness, <laughs> just turn on that and we want that. Uh, I'm definitely buying the first round. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That could have been a disaster. Great. Right, well, cheers, That's boys and girls. Thanks awesome. for all the work. Thanks yes. so much. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Yes. What a lovely view you brought us down here for. Yeah. The mud. The mud <laughs> Well, if you finished quicker, you might have had the tide in. Oh. Oh. We might not come tomorrow. I mightn't either. <laughs> Yeah, but you're not even, you're, you're, look, you're hanging over the new post there. Yeah, well, I didn't know how you'd fixed it. Well, right, I haven't fixed it at all. Don't get smarty pants with me. <laughs> the young couple is squabbling again. First nail going in, first decking board. And nine o'clock in the morning. Carry on. I thought it was an eclipse of the sun, actually. <laughs> Carry on. Don't laugh and encourage him. <laughs> Did it go dark over there, Charlie? <laughs> All right, that was funny the first time. <laughs> Of potting up. How are your potting up skills? I'll be fine when I'm finished. <laughs> okay, now we've got these pots. These are just normal terracotta ones that we've painted and they match in really well with what's going to be the water feature. See what I mean about difficult to draw? <laughs> now we're going to put the agapanthus in pots because they're much happier in containers because being root bound it makes them flower. A lot of people put them in the ground and they grow very healthy mm -hmm. but don't flower so okay. much happier and also they're going to be reasonably hardy here being cork you know mm -hmm. it's quite mild um, but at home we'd have to protect them by moving them up close to the house so if they're in pots it's much easier to okay. do. Whoa. So, that's... <laughs> How's that? Spot on. And both ways, yeah? Lovely. It's a very handy level there. 
post level, does both sides at once. Great, that's it, we can screw that now. Okay. Just about there is. Yep. Right. This is Betula Jack Montii and it's really grown, like all betulas or birches, for its fabulous bark. It's a real lovely pinky white colour rather than a bright white. And this bit's really nice, picking that off to expose it. Like dead skin. Don't you leave all your dead skin over my flower bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's all organic. <laughs> right, so we're going to have three birches. One, two, three, that are going to get to about 25, 30 foot high. So I'll screen that off. And a bit of colourful planting here. Bamboos over there. And we're not sure about the hole over there yet. So this is a nice one, yeah? Yeah, on the end would be good, I think. Bacon, Farney. Mm. Oh, Saviour, beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Nice Irish bacon. Wow. Thank this you is very the much. reason I could never be a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> Big fella friend with a little wasp. I thought wasps were supposed to be vegetarian. <laughs> Get your own. Hey, hey! <laughs> if you put the sandwich down, he leave you alone. No, yeah. no I'm not putting the sandwich down, no. That's more or less the end of the first deck done. It's now 5 to 11. And all we've got to do now is do all the handrail spindles, deck that one down to the lower deck, put the decking on. And we've got one, two, three sets of stairs to make. And we don't even know what time he's coming back. Deirdre, what's the latest? Have you heard from Shane? I got a text from him. He, I told him I was in a meeting all morning. And he just texted me and said, how did your meeting go? Give me a call when you come out. So that's where we're at at the moment. I haven't so called him yet. You don't know what time he's coming back? No. Good morning, Una. How are you? Fine, thank you. Why are the dark glasses, dude? Sun's shining. No, it's not. It wouldn't be that you might have partaken of too much hospitality last night. No common speechless for once. <laughs> I think that's the Fifth Amendment again. <laughs> that's nice. Yes. Right. Right. Yep. And I'm tempted to just remove some of the lower stems. OK. Branches so that you really see it against the blue shale. Yep. OK. Am I screwing this? All right. Yeah, you know where your hands are, don't you? <laughs> you want to be careful, Mr Walsh. Three. Right. Now, normally, if you're buying plants at a garden centre, you don't get ones that are totally root-bound like this. But bamboos grow so quickly, and you get two different types, clump forming and ones that runner. Now, if you look bamboos up in the books, the different names, in one book it'll say one thing, it's clump forming, in another book it'll say it runners. From my experience, the richer the soil, the less likely they are to run. So this will be ideal, because the soil's really nice and rich. All you want to do is tease out a couple of the roots, and never let bamboos dry out because they don't like it at all. Now these bamboos are Pseudo-Sassa Japonica. You can see how beautiful this soil is close up. Give it a scrunch together and it, you know, binds nicely. Full of moisture, nutrients. If you have a look at the grass up there, it's gorgeous and green. So these plants will have a lovely time in here. Just got a text from Chain. Yeah. Uh, no rush, just leaving now. Now it's only 12. How long will it take them to get back? It's an hour and a half, but I know they must be coming straight back because John would have let me know. We won't be ready. We won't be ready by five. <laughs> <laughs> so plan B has to go into action. Well, let me call, let me call John and see what he says. <laughs> That helps a 
so better fixing them. We haven't stalled well and truly. Hook line. Oh, well, Shane, you've yeah, got it. Yeah, we've oh, got it. Well done. He's actually meeting me uh, with his friend, who's also his business partner, and we've discussed some details, and they're going to meet me in my house at half past three. Fantastic. So that should be OK. And I you'll keep him busy? I'll waffle for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Two so hours. Okay? <laughs> well done. I really like the colours here. Yeah. Really zingy, aren't yeah. they? People say that plants are really boring because they're all just green. And these are all just greens and yellows, all mixed together with no flowers, except for the, the escapee fuchsia, which belonged to Deirdre already, so I didn't think I'd better take that out. Mm -hmm. But it looks really zingy, really nice colour. And to set it all off, we're mulching in chunky slate from the nearby Glenview Quarry. Now, Will's kindly cut a hole in the deck here for me so I can plant in it, because when you have a really big expanse of decks, very practical, but can look really hard. So we've put some planting through, and we've got Hydrangea paniculata, which is different from the mop-headed ones, very pretty, flowers late summer, early autumn. And then we've got Lirio muscari, and muscari refers to the flowers, which are similar to the grape hyacinths, which is muscari. <laughs> About a year ago. Right. There's that rose in there. Well, it's not quite. So, what's the time, guys? It's uh, ten to three. Quarter to three. <laughs> Quarter to three. So that means we've got about two hours then. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to do it in two hours. Oh. Richard's mopping his head. <laughs> Stress. We've got to finish so these handrails. We've still got to make the staircase. So you're going to do the, the stairs first before you start messing those handrails up, yeah? We've got to finish these ones first. What we're ones? Doing. <laughs> See these ones you're looking at? <laughs> <laughs> going to be the water feature and what we're going to put in there is actually a mister so this is going to be a small pool of water and then the mist in it and it will just spill over and this is going to be a wine cooler it looks like a broken egg I know that's what I like about it right this is a mister which is this thing here and it works by that little disc there vibrates like mad and it causes the water to atomize and you have to have about three and a half centimeters of water over the top and it's got to be really clean water you can't just leave it in the whole time you need to change the water regularly and also it's really just for the summer because it's uh, not one that you can leave outside all the time but it's quite fun and if they don't they take it in the winter we can still have water in there with some pebbles and it'll make a great bird bath We've got 29 minutes. Are you nervous? Uh, nervous, excited, nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Why yeah. is that then? Oh, I kind of want it to be five o'clock, but I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> Can someone turn the electrics on? Needs readjusting. He's going to be there in ten minutes. He's on his way, OK? Got ten minutes, Kirsty. Is that exact? Hey. You got another one? No, that's, that's it. That's all right. Well, let's just see what we have some leeway with this. That's the trick. Thank you. Is there another lighter, Come anyone? Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Where are we hiding? Three minutes. Oh. My voice is going. <laughs>
Amazing surprise. Hey, Raj. If it's a dog, you can send it back. <laughs> it's not a dog. I promise. <laughs> it's not a dog. What <laughs> the hell is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> Guess who's here? You're taking the piss. I'm not. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh my God, guys! <laughs> Can I try this again? <laughs> I'm oh, not going to introduce Charlie, you because you know you everyone. Good. How are you? It's lovely to see you. Nice wow. to meet you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Tommy, how are you doing? How are you? Kirsty. Hi there. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Where's the man with the hat? Yeah. Mr. Rad, how the hell are you, boys? That's right. And this is Richard. This is Richard, new how man. You how are you doing? I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> That we've told you. Oh, John! Hi. John, come on in. How was he? Was he John, was going I on? didn't know what was going on. How do you think? Oh. It was all the, the slow varnishing. <laughs> well done, John. This is the, the only reason I was made to the yeah. varnishing. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, I'm coming home soon. Yeah, no. Oh, and about right too. Five o'clock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Your usual time. I should have known. <laughs> Although in this instance, we could have done with another half an hour. The extra decks have brought the house to the garden and the garden to the house. We know how these guys just love to party and now they've got lots of outside space to party on. Let's just hope the old Irish mist stays firmly in the pond. What should I do? Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 What's that? Schleunter. Yeah. <laughs> so from Black Rock on a rock steady deck. Hey. In the very, very green emerald aisle. Yes. Till the next time. <laughs> Uh, goodbye and... Cheers! Brilliant. Charlie, thank you so much. Well. You did very well. Thank you. Richard, sorry if we shouted at anyone, but that's part of it all. But at least well, you know there's a panic at the end. Thank you. <laughs>